guys, Mike here. Welcome to Mojo Group. So today I'm at the Helicopter Expo here in downtown Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm here on a very short notice. I didn't even know this event was going on, but I'm really excited to be here. And I'm just gonna give you a quick tour. You're gonna be my eyes today. Uh, I'm gonna walk around the exhibition hall and show you a few things. I'm just getting into helicopters, so just kind of use your imagination as I scroll around, okay? Stay tuned, hope you enjoy this one. Okay guys, here we are in the exhibition hall and you will find all kinds of helicopters in here. Business, pleasure, personal, even some futuristic stuff. So I'll just let you be my eyes, okay? Let's take a walk. Arrow Brigham. Okay. Not familiar with this helicopter, but it looks something like uh, business or personal aircraft. Very nice. Not my favorite colors, but this is nice. Okay. Three blade rotor system. Tail wheel. We can't waste time with just one, so let's move on. Okay, here we are with Schweizer. This is actually uh, one helicopter that I'm familiar with. If you hear this name, Schweizer, you may have heard this particular brand uh, associated with trainers. Okay, a lot of helicopter pilots learn in these. And as you can see, just look at the build. All right, and from what I've been told around the industry, I don't know if you guys saw my uh, some of the videos we did on the Mosquito helicopter. You know, they have one of these, and they tell us that this is the aircraft or the helicopter that they use to train their pilots to fly the Mosquito. As you can see, only two seats in there. So you have your cyclics, one on here, one for the student. Simple analog gauge, radio. So there you have it. And for a lot of you who may not know much about helicopters like I don't, I'm still learning myself. Uh, helicopter training is very similar to airplane training. So think of helicopters as rotor wings, all right? Those blades, that's your wings. That's what allows you to fly. Unlike in an airplane where you have your just two wings, uh, in a helicopter, the same sort of program goes into it. So for example, when you're first learning in an airplane, you go for your sports or private pilot, in a fixed wing, fixed landing gear, um, basic stuff. And then, after that, you want to go up the ladder, you can uh, train for your multi-engine, and then you can train for turbine engine, and a bunch of stuff. But the point is, you got to get a rating for every ladder that you climb up. And the same thing goes for helicopter training, okay? If you're going to train in a helicopter, you start with a primary single piston engine aircraft like this one here. And then when you're ready to step up, you can move towards a turbine engine or a multi-engine. Helicopters also have multiple engines. Um, and so, but the, you have to get a rating for each one, okay? So, I think that's enough for Schweizer. Let's move on. There is a lot here to see, guys. That's a name you're familiar with, Robinson. Okay, these are also trainers. I reviewed, I believe it was the R66. Uh, a couple of months ago, 
And here you have R44. You've got four seating for four in here. So think of this as your four seat airplane. Okay? Very simple cockpit. enough leg room. All right, and right next to it is the R22. Again, this is what you compare to the Schweizer I just showed you. This is a primary trainer, single piston engine. Uh, you learn the basic stuff in this, okay? And let's see what's next to it. Let's see here. Right, this is the R66. This is the same helicopter I reviewed back in Florida. Again, same seating for four or five people, but this is a turbine engine helicopter. It has a Rolls Royce. I believe it's over 300 horsepower uh, for the engine. But uh, here you are, the Robinson series. Okay, let's Let's scan around. I'm sure there's more cool stuff for us to see. And guys, I'm really only here for one day. Uh, this expo was kind of like a late notice for me. Uh, I wish I knew much earlier. Before I came that way, I could have asked if you wanted to, if you wanted me to see a specific helicopter, but this just looks like candy. <laughs> okay. Uh, and as you can see, it says Atlanta Healthcare for the kids. Really cool color scheme. It's four blade rotor system. Let's see. Really? Let me back up a little. All right, this is something more of an EMS type of helicopter to airlift people. And they've got all kind of fleet here, different types. But moving on. Uh, look at Airbus over there. Let's see what they got. This is the H145. And silver. Really clean. See, this looks more like a business type of aircraft. Sorry, I don't have the data specs of any sort. Very nice. So I just asked, and there are two... This is a multi-engine helicopter, two turbine engines, and as I was explaining earlier, if you want to become a helicopter pilot, all right, the, the higher you go in, in the engine size or type of engine, you have to get a rate into your license. So to fly one of these, you probably, first you got to get a multi-engine rating and probably a commercial uh, rating to your license. Well, there you have it. Moving on. Uh, more Airbus stuff. All right, this is this right here. You talk about the future of transportation. Yeah, 
Air Medical Service. Okay, you've got your stretcher in there. Seating for nurses and physicians. It's a big cabin. Um, just love the design. Look how flat and neat the, the avionics is. I don't think I've seen anything like this. Oh, and all the buttons. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm about to show you the future of our public transportation system here. Table stakes for manufacturing revolve around safety and quality, and we want those to always be there, and they always will. So we have to start to focus on the cost of manufacturing. So not just safety and quality, that's always there. Those are table stakes. Now it's about cost. So the direct operating cost, the acquisition cost of the vehicle can open the markets up to more people in everyday uses. So you can see our team, the frameworks and the technologies resulted in a people-centric um, vision of the future and the vision of Nexus. You can see we designed this vehicle from that seat all the way out to the ducts and only in that order because we want to address a market that is different than any we've addressed before. So I'm going to close off with talking about the timeline. You think um, this looks more like the Jetsons? And if you're a cartoon connoisseur, that translates to 2062. I don't know if anybody knew that about the Jetsons, but we're talking about the middle of this decade, the middle of the 2020s. So this is much closer than we ever thought, much closer than you think today. And it's there, again, to change the way we fly, open the vertical dimension to more people, and solve real-world challenges that we all face today. So a couple other things that are available here in the booth, we'd love you to check those out. There's an AR um, display on the left-hand side behind the vehicle that'll get you into some of the more of the details of the vehicle and how it operates. And then behind me is our urban logistics vehicle called ACT, which stands for Autonomous Pod Transport, that'll fly in unison or separately with Nexus to do some of the smaller logistics packages moving. So I'm gonna open the floor to questions. We've got a couple mics out there, one here in the front, and usually there's one in the back. Just raise your hand and we'll, we'll come and get you if you have a question for us. Yeah, just a quick question. Will it be able to land when the pods are rotated in case there's a problem with the rotation when it land like an airplane? Yes, the, um, a, a powered lift uh, aircraft um, as long as there's no interference between the, the prop rotors and the ground, can always land like an airplane, um, either in, in uh, uh, an angled orientation of the nacelles or a uh, full so airplane. As you can mode see, guys, this is and on traditional tilt rotors. You may be asking that about prototype for a human drone. drone. A disc that um, extends through the plane okay. the ground under an airplane mode. It's this like, uh, think of it like as a helicopter and an airplane. Yes. Uh, <laughs> put it in one. Okay. One of the things that people are going to ask is cost because it's out of company. They will lift off the ground like a helicopter. And these, these fans and blades can convert, they go from horizontal to vertical, sort of. So think of these as the wings, okay? Once in flight, they can they change position, and then it almost operates like an airplane with a propeller. And there's a reason for that, because they don't do it, say, initially. It's not that one thing but this is this is the main event guys it's about the right here position that you're asking us for as a customer so a in our case a hybrid mission that's about 150 miles in range it goes the model name the nexus the bell nexus okay guys hope you all enjoy this one if you did Make sure you give a thumbs up. And if this is your first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button for me.
Thanks again for watching. Again, my name is Mike, and I will catch you all on the next video.